Welcome to the vlog. Oh, I feel like I have something in my eye. We're downtown and we're going to taste of Edmonton. I go here with my aunt every year and we're in a hotel room at this Sutton place. It's a room. We're gonna go find some stuff to eat. I know. Uh, these are my aunt's and uncle's outdoor cats. They're, I think, 10 years old and they're still alive, which is crazy. Hi! Okay, I know I didn't vlog really anything. Um, I tend not to vlog when I'm around my family. It is Sunday today, um, so I haven't vlogged a lot. <laughs> but I'm going over to Alex's place and he's making a stir fry and it looks like it's going to rain up there so I'm gonna try to get there rather quickly so I'm gonna go over there for dinner we're gonna hang out for a bit and then on the way home I need to get some groceries because there is two peaches and like three oranges that are pretty much gone bad in the house for fruit and as we all know I'm trying to eat better so fruit is necessary also I am so glad that you guys enjoyed the let's chat video um, if you have a title that you think would go well with that that would be awesome and um, on those videos I'm thinking maybe once every two weeks I'll do that as like a special weekend show and I'll give away little things and I'll reply to comments on all of the channels on my main channel if there's any comments that stick out or on this channel if there's any comments that stick out if you really want a question answered then just thumbs up the comment um, so yeah I'm glad that you guys like that I like the idea of having kind of a, a community show once in a while you know so that is good oh no all the birds crossing the road Ugh. always makes me like you know when a bird is just kind of sitting in the middle of the road and it's not moving <clears throat> freaks me the fuck out you don't want to have a repeat of Chuck um, anyways so heading over to Alex's looks like it's gonna rain it looks like it's raining over there and over there so pick a spot you know what I mean I guess I'll tell you a little bit of what I did at my aunt's place because we went to taste of Edmonton and we stayed overnight in a hotel um, Friday night right Thursday night sorry and then we went back to her place on Friday and I stayed over there Friday night and Friday was such beautiful weather so beautiful that I just like sat out on this bench and tanned I think I actually took a, a video when I was doing that but she has like these four outdoor cats and they're 10 years old now she got them when I was 10 and um, well she didn't get them like her cat the mom cat had babies and they have like this insulated garage that they go into in the winter and she feeds them and like wild cats out in the middle of nowhere like the middle of nowhere where wild animals do hang out like they don't usually live that long especially not all siblings and the fact that they're all still alive is crazy so and they're like there's they're still wild um like most of them don't well one of them doesn't like being touched or anything and she doesn't purr or meow or anything but the i think i showed you like the two orange ones garfield and spike and they love getting touched and cuddled and it's so cute good morning it is tuesday today i think tuesday or wednesday it's a day today who cares um okay i'm wearing the most dramatic of makeup waiting for my hair to dry I'm wearing falsies for the first time ever. Um, and I am so excited. My last piece of furniture that I've been waiting for came in and I just wanna give you a little bit of a before. So this is what that looks like. And I will show you what it looks like after. Okay, looks very similar, but now we have this and this is all the stuff I need to haul. I got some stuff from Clinique and the drawers so my camera can stay in here all protected and shielded and I moved my garbage can over here so it's just a little bit more spacious plus I'm gonna have all this room over here to film against a plain background if I want it so let's talk about the bachelor finale I don't have a lot to say about it because honestly this season was over for me when Luke left I'm sure he's gonna be the bachelor and I will watch him stand there and be sexy but I grew to like Robbie more. I, I do think that he is just I, a little 
too emotional for Jojo. Um, I don't necessarily think that uh, What's His Nuts is the greatest choice either, but I'm not the one dating them. You know, I would have chosen Luke, but anyways, it's over now. It's fine. Whatever. I will say Robbie is the only one who made me cry ever in the meet the parents kind of section. Um, and now, because it is, what, Tuesday or Wednesday or something? Again, I don't know the day. I, I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. Let me double check this for you real quick. Um, oh, look, it's Tuesday. So earlier in this vlog when I said it might be Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, it's been Tuesday the whole time. Um, I'm going to go watch Bachelor in Paradise and I'm so excited. Okay, can we also just talk about how I got ready? I put on false lashes. Do you see these? Do you see these? <laughs> They're beautiful, but... I don't do this unless I'm filming. I had all these grand plans of filming videos today and then that piece of furniture came. It took me like an hour and a half to make and then I was just reorganizing and cleaning and vacuuming and I did school stuff this morning and next thing I know it's like 4.30 and I don't want to film. And then I go out and I get burgers for everybody and I come home and then my aunt wants to go see cats because she's getting another cat for her other cat who's lonely. So there's lots of things. So she and my uncle went to look at these cats and I drove them out there and it was like a lot of stuff and now I'm gonna go get some wine and I'm gonna watch Bachelor in Paradise and I'm gonna see Hurricane Chad and I'm so excited um anyways oh I got my first speeding ticket today so I can't like the irrational part of me is like fuck the government this is a money grab and the other half of me that's rational is like yeah no you were going 17 kilometers over the speed limit Maybe you should have not, but in my defense, it was like literally within 20 feet of the speed limit sign changing of it being like, oh no, maybe don't, don't go 110 anymore, go 90. It was like 10 feet after that sign, okay? So whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go watch The Bachelorette. No. Bachelor in Paradise. Okay, I figure we can talk about Bachelor in Paradise because I finally watched that last night. And by finally, I mean it's Wednesday, so it wasn't really that late at all. But I watched it and uh, I've got some thoughts. First of all, it was 100% the fucking Chad show up in this bitch. And I kind of started out like Sarah. I was just sitting there thinking, oh yeah, it'll be great. You know, I think that Chad is just misunderstood. Like 100%, everything that she said, where it's like you have to get to know him and you have to uncover all of that stuff. I was right there with her, 100%. But just the way that he interacted with Lace and especially the shit that she, he said to Sarah. Like, first of all, you don't sit there and try to belittle somebody because they're missing an arm when clearly she's a gorgeous completely able-bodied human being like and the second that Chad kind of crossed that line I was over it like I'm it's entertainment for sure but it also like you want the people to feel safe and when you go off on Chris Harrison who seems like the nicest guy ever like why? Why would you do that? Why? I don't understand. Um, it just, and <laughs> can we talk about how him shitting his pants is my worst fucking nightmare? We all know I have poop fear. That's a, a completely known thing. Oh my god. Like, I, I like that they just glossed over that. They're like, yeah, I think he shit his pants. Like, what? That deserved more airtime. I want to hear that story. Um, I don't know, man. And it seems like he's back next week and like just the things that he was tweeting Chad while this was going on I don't think he cares obviously he just wants to save his reputation because his first tweet is like to Spencer Pratt who is the villain of the hills and it's like hey man did you see um, Bachelor in Paradise or whatever and then Spencer was joking about how um, Jojo and Jordan roofied him and then his next tweet was Sarah I apologize and I would like the opportunity to do it in person whether you believe me or not and like that's all he, he fucking said about it like that's it's too late at that point you know like he, he seems like the kind of guy who needs 
intensive therapy who needs to not drink or take any substance that can alter your mental state. Um, he seems like he needs to work on himself a lot. Hey, okay, I'm gonna close out the vlog mainly because I don't know if I had anything else to vlog. I vividly remember being in the car and thinking like, oh yeah, I'll vlog that, but I can't remember <laughs> what it was gonna be. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged a whole bunch. I'm sorry this is a little bit short and mostly about TV, but that's my whole life. Um, I don't know, plan for the week basically is just doing school. That's the main stuff. Um, I also need to film videos for next week and edit videos for next week, but mainly at school. Like these next couple weeks in August, I'm really going to try to pre-film and just be like focusing on getting this class done. And if I could get it done by the end of August, it would have taken me two months. And that's doing like I don't know, an hour of work maybe three times a week. So if I can get a class done completely three hours of work a week, then why not? Like if I really motivate myself, I could get it done in a month for sure. So anyways, we'll talk school and stuff later. Um, I'll film a podcast later too. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. I'm going to go get some sleep. Actually, I'm going to go get the pop get some fruit because I'm fucking starving and then get some sleep because oh, I've got this serum on and my skin is oily as fuck right now but and I have bags anyways without me sitting here telling you about my skin issues I'm gonna uh, piece it out okay